talking about kaiju slash titans whatever you want to call them we're going to be talking about some awesome shit IMO so check it out here's a little introduction if you will yo King Ghidorah is, of course, a force to be reckoned with, you know? He is the devil with three heads, you mean? He is the devil with three heads, you know? But I do believe that the two top alphas are Godzilla and Kong, and I don't think that's debatable, you know? Really, especially with Ghidorah gone, or air quotes, gone, you know? Very... They are the two top alphas, you know. Could Kong take Godzilla? Yes. Could Kong take Ghidorah? That? That's a hard one, you know. A very hard one, but let's move on. So. I just got the GVK... You know, Godzilla figure, as I was talking about in a previous video. It is an absolutely phenomenal figure. I only had, like, two complaints. It was great. But, uh, let's move on. Let's get back to the topic at hand. We don't exactly know what Ghidorah is, you know. We know that he's an EBE, as in an extraterrestrial biological entity, you know, but we don't know where he originates from. You know, in the past, it's been Venus and Mars and all sorts of things, you know. But right now, we don't really know, you know. And, by the way, this is uh, one of my figures. This is the uh, Ghidorah figure I got when, uh, shortly after King of the Monsters came out, because I usually... Uh, can't get figures before they come out, but uh, I was lucky enough to be able to get the GVK Giant Godzilla before it came out, you mean? But yeah, I keep hearing about the Toho-verse, right? You know, I love the Monsterverse, but I really want to see this Toho-verse. And I really, really, really sincerely hope they keep Shin Godzilla as their Godzilla. And I hope that some kind of uh, Ghidorah, of course, shows up at some point in the film. You know what I mean? Or in the series. Or, you know, as the main antagonist. Or, uh, you know, the main villain of the series. You know what I mean? This is supposed to be a whole cinematic universe, and there's so much unused concept art from Toho, from Legendary, from all over, you know, that is still unused. You know, you can use concepts from many different uh, concept art pieces and whatnot, and models and things, and even just completely, you know, create an original creation altogether, you know. I like this one. I do. It reminds me of like some kind of uh, dragon, you know, like an aviary. Not aviary, but like like an avian kind of reptilian being, you know. It looks like it could be alien in nature, you know, extraterrestrial in nature. You feel me? Same goes for this picture here this photo here you know it, it perfectly encapsulates what I was just saying you know there are 
a lot of very, very, very interesting titans and uh, what some would call kaiju kaiju in the uh, monster verse movies and in all in in just about all monster movies as far as you know giant monster movies go you know even craw i don't know if you guys have ever heard of uh craw i believe that's how you pronounce it or uh have you guys ever heard of reptilicus that was a good classic movie reptilicus was good uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of them, but as far as the monster verse goes, yeah, it's awesome. I really want to see what they do with this Toho verse, though, you know? But yeah, I can't wait for GVK. I cannot wait. And you, you know, Rodan, Rodan is a fucking beast, too. Just look at him, you know? Although he's more uh, devilish, you know, more sinister in nature. Even though he does repent and bow to Godzilla, the king of the monsters, at the end, spoiler alert. But I'm assuming you've seen King of the Monsters if you're watching this and hyped for GVK, you know. I'm assuming you've at least seen that. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's continue. Ghidorah has always been an invasive species and a dominant alpha like a mega alpha right and anything that challenges him will usually be destroyed you will see you know Rodan attempts to challenge Ghidorah and as you'll see it does not end well for him you know Ghidorah even in this form which isn't even like the anime Ghidorah form, which is one of the strongest. This isn't even even. This isn't even Eva Ghidorah either. But still, this Ghidorah is damn near unstoppable. You know, fucking amazing. You know, check this out. Rodan, a very powerful beast, challenging him head on to a one v one, one on one, you know, match, and watch what happens. Multiple beings attempt to stop Ghidorah, but his wrath is too powerful. Only, f only a select few can stand a chance against Ghidorah, and I do believe Kong is one of them. I do believe it. Godzilla almost lost to Ghidorah. He barely won that fight without that power-up, you know what I mean? Yeah, you could say, oh, he almost fight the, won the fight in the water. Pe I've even heard people say, oh, the water somehow made it easier for Godzilla to fight Ghidorah. Uh, actually, you know, if you're super heavy and big, it's, you know, water resistance is going to make it harder to move, even if you are a marine reptile that can move fast. And Ghidorah, he's sleeker, he's more built for moving through space and water and all kinds of things you know he uh he may have gotten his head ripped off but he knew what he was doing and he still could have won that fight you know what i mean either of them could have won that fight you know what i mean and you know people sleep on kong they really say kong isn't always made out to be and i'll get to that believe me believe you me i will get to that i will you know i will just wait but yeah, Ghidorah, something else. Ghidorah is on an entire, a whole nother level, you know, he's on a whole new level. Ghidorah is destruction, you know. He's godlike, a deity of chaos, you know. The devourer of entire planets. Who knows, actually? Who knows how many planets? The exact number of planets that Ghidorah has destroyed before he came to Earth. You know, he's depicted in ancient in ancient hieroglyphics in the monster verse, you know? Him or one of his kind, you know? If there are more than one Ghidorah, if there is more than one Ghidorah, that would be absolutely fucking awful for humans, you know? 
and for all life on earth that would be horrendous you know and even if they're extinct one Ghidorah is enough you know spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen this but yeah Rodan can be an asshole and Mothra may seem like she may have got the upper hand but she's fucked you know and my boy Goji, my boy Godzilla, he's just trying to handle handle it all. As Ghidorah is uh, savagely overpowering him. And the only thing he can do is get that power up, you know? Look at this fall. He plummets to the earth. And Ghidorah could have taken him higher. But he's just wounding him right here, you know? He's just showing him what he can do. It's a demonstration. Boom. And obviously Ghidorah can't fly through space. There's no oxygen. Like many people have said. There's no oxygen in space. You can't fly through space with wings. But he could, per he could have propelled himself with some kind of uh, gaseous fumes. Or he could have been transported by aliens or even other members of his kind you know you don't know it's possible spoiler but yeah I'd love to see Ghidorah make a return you know make make a comeback and uh, in the Toho verse I'd love to see him return I hope they keep Shin Godzilla and a version like this would be pretty dope, you know? When Shin Godzilla fought Eva Ghidorah, that was epic, you know? I'm not even a huge uh, Evangelon, Evangelion, however you want to say it. I'm not even a big fan, you know? But I have seen that, and it was absolutely epic, you know? I loved it a lot. Shin Godzilla really did bring the fear, the fear, and meaning back to the uh, character of Godzilla. You know what I mean? Gojira. Real shit though. Real, real shit though. For real, for real. My bad for the uh, terrible ass quality, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, this is uh, Shin Godzilla versus Evangelion, or and they'll Evangelion, however you want to say that shit. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, pretty damn awesome. Uh, I did fuck with it. Check it out. So it pretty much starts out right. It starts out like this. You know, it's about Shin Godzilla, but then Eva Ghidorah shows up, and Eva Ghidorah, holy fuck, wait till you see Eva Ghidorah, here he comes, Pete, just Pete. There are many, many, many versions of Ghidorah, like I said, and many are very, very, very powerful. And Eva Ghidorah is one of the most powerful versions of Ghidorah. Just check this shit out, man. This shit is just fucking epic. It's just... I'm at a loss for words. Shit's awesome, you know what I'm saying? And the gravity beams of this Ghidorah aren't just electric volts they're actual gravity beams you know they shoot energy and electricity and voltages that can actually levitate things and disintegrate them you know check it out <laughs> 